Now welcome back everybody to the channel. In today's video, we are back in the Magnificent Flight Simulator 2020. Yeah, you know, you can really see some diversity here on the channel. Today we're here to talk about add-on planes for this flight simulator that you can download. And especially one brand new add-on plane. See, you know, here for this flight simulator, we've seen so many interesting planes to buy and download. Some very good ones, some very, very good ones indeed. And some extremely, extremely bad ones that I've been very much disappointed by. Even some scams. And today, we're going to talk about a brand new one. This one right here. Oh, we've got some FPS box. Yeah, we'll come back on board a very special plane that we've talked about before on this channel. Of course, that is the Junkers Ju-52. And that kind of rhymes. And yes, the name of Junkers might suggest that this plane is junk. It's not junk. It's absolutely great of a plane. Now, the Junkers Ju-52, a German plane from the 1930s, actually. This is quite vintage of an airliner. Kind of a legend of transport. Transport airplanes, indeed. Yeah, and it actually still flies around today. 4,800 of these were built. That is quite a bit. Very popular of an airplane. And you know, this add-on plane that we've got here for the flight simulator here from this Junkers is also quite special because this add-on aircraft was actually developed by Microsoft themselves. No, this is no third-party developer. Microsoft himself really did this. Yeah, that's part of the reason the official Xbox account here on YouTube posted a advertising campaign video about this aircraft. Now what that means is that the plane will probably be a little bit cheaper than third party planes. And it is. This plane you can now download in the actual in sim marketplace for $15. Which is actually quite a low price if you know the prices of other add-ons. For like a very good add-on you can pay around $100. Ooh, that's just absolutely crazy, actually. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, $15 this is. And what can I say? First of all, I think it's definitely worth it and actually quite a <clears throat> nice price to performance ratio. I mean, look at this aircraft here. The uh, uh, exterior model looks absolutely nice, especially for $15. Again, let's maybe take a bit of a look into this vintage cockpit. Now, this is actually a German cockpit, which is why it says fart, which means speed in German. See, I do actually speak German, right? This one beautifully says Stauhor, which means pito tube or something. And we all like to do a nice Zielflug, everybody. That's just great. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and actually take this plane off. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at this cockpit. If You know, considering that this is quite, you know, old, we do have very simple um, controls, right? Overhead wind. Can we open that mid-flight? That would be crazy. Oh, my God. We can actually open it. Yeah! All right, everybody. Yeah, if it's a little bit warm here in the cockpit, we can just open the window. That's just great to see. No, this actually seems quite nice. Let me check out what kind of controls actually work. Fire extinguisher. That's cool. That works. You know, most of these switches. I mean, this is, after all, pretty simplistic aircraft to um, rebuilt here for the flight simulator so it's not you know been the toughest job ever done here on the planet there you go all, all of those switches all of those buttons work starter betätigung nur wenn maschine frei which means that you should only use the starter switches when of course the aircraft is cleared so uh, that's all oh my god we're crashing Ugh. The thing is, I'm actually quite obsessed with all those little vintage um, propeller aircraft from back in the day because they have one big strength. They can fly a lot of passengers around. As you can see, we have proper passenger cabins here and those kind of planes. By the way, squared windows as well, something you wouldn't see anywhere these days. But no, they can do all that while actually flying at very low speeds. This plane can fly up to down to like 60 knots, Jesus Christ, which means this plane can land on a lot of short runways to put it that way that, that's that's all we need yeah <clears throat> we can probably land on a runway like this saint Barthélemy, the shortest runway on this planet i mean seriously i'm not joking i think this will be very much successful the only thing that we have to watch out for with this kind of plane is that it's after all a tail dragger so it's important not to flip over because that would be quite fatal i mean we've got this engine right here that we don't want to crash Seriously. I mean, look at this engine design as well. Three engines, one in the front and two in the back. I mean, come on, that's cool. All right, it's coming actually for a landing. And we are actually quite fast considering what this plane is, 80 knots. All right, butter the junkers, butter the junkers. Let's not make a junk landing. Come on. Yes, okay, let's go ahead and stop. Okay, this guy actually might get close to the end of the runway. Come on, you can do it. Yes, stop the plane. Come on. No, don't run off the... That's quite embarrassing now. All right, <clears throat> time to try again. Maybe land a little bit earlier here on this runway or something. Come on. We go. Oh, come on, touch down. 
All right, that's been a landing. So, I mean, just see how, you know, slowly this airplane moves, right? Okay, come on. Stop. There we go. That has been a nice stop now. Junkers, Ju-52, the biggest plane that could ever fly to this place, again, due to its low speed. Which, on the other hand, could probably be a problem when you're in midair, because obviously a slow plane is going to mean you're going to fly a little bit longer. But at least you can fly to islands like this with this kind of plane. Here we go. Just look how nicely, s slowly it lands. I mean, this plane actually lands slower than the Cirrus that I fly in real life. Seriously. Yes, I mean, you know, I do really like this plane, even in real life and also as an... Also, as in, that's what I'm talking about with the. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, and I'm not the biggest fan of tail draggers. So if you if you could just put a landing gear up front, that would be perfect. But yeah, so far this add-on plane is looking like quite a nice deal, right? Fifteen dollars again. We're just you know again practically nothing here in the flight simulation world. I mean, this is not the only benefit of having like an add-on aircraft made by the developers of the flight simulator itself. It's also especially also the compatibility. Even though I'm not quite sure. Is the, is the FPS? Yeah, FPS are good now. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, I mean, the people that know how to make these flight simulator models the best is probably the flight simulator developers. Does that make sense? I mean, I, I would guess the stability of this is quite awesome compared to some other planes that just proceed to not work. Left rudder ratio. We have so many buttons here, though. I don't know. What, I've never seen that. Okay, come on. Let's maybe <clears throat> engage in some little landing challenge here as well here at Cool Chevelle. Shouldn't be a problem. This is one of those planes where I'm just like, okay, it's probably going to stop any anywhere, really. But are there junkers? But are there junkers? Okay, that's been not the butter landing, but let's go ahead and stop very quickly. There we go. Ah, we stopped even too fast for this runway. Now it's time to roll back. Yeah, this plane, I, I like this. There are some junkers, Ju-52, still flying around in the real world. For example, there's one in France, one's in South Africa, and one in the United States. So there's, there's three. I mean, you know, despite this plane having come out in 1930, that's quite good. And oh, well, this one isn't quite flying around anymore, is it? Jesus Christ. All right, let's maybe try some other places here. Let's maybe go ahead and invade Poland or something like that. All right, here we go. Even this... <laughs> In somewhere in the middle of nowhere in Poland land, this looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, the landscape of Poland shouldn't be underrated. This is why we're invading it right now, here in this German Junkers Ju-52. Okay, let's crowd into some trees here. I mean, it's Junkers Ju-52. Plane doesn't even care, probably. Nice. Come on, stop. Oh, no. Mm. All right, we've crashed into the fuel train. Okay, that would have been absolute death in real life. Great. But yeah, <clears throat> new add-on here for the flight simulator. You know, very much versus your one proof for $15. So if you are into vintage plane and invading Poland in vintage German planes, that's just something that you might want to consider buying. And uh, so thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, and as always, good night. Now, thank you to my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emite, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chista Ritos, Shadow, Anime Planes 001, X Men Show, Laird, the Slama, Puturing, Kellen, Me by You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Paralogy.